Hello, my name is Thori Long, uh, and I'm a postdoctoral researcher at the Iceland and MEM uh, study at the University of Iceland, and also uh, a, a, a nephrology fellow in the, at the University Skåne University Hospital in Lund, Sweden. And I wanted to tell you about my ASH abstract that I presented last ASH. It's called uh, Monoprolonged Homopathy of Undetermined Significance and the Risk of Chronic Kidney Disease. And we used the ISWM cohort for this study. As you know, both MGUS and chronic kidney disease are very common conditions and both increase with age. Um, there is a term uh, that's called monoclonal homopathy of renal significance, which is a syndrome where where you get chronic kidney disease as, as a result of uh, monoclonal gammopathy, such as MGUS. However, to diagnose the MGRS, you need to do a kidney biopsy, which is an invasive study and, and is seldomly uh, done. Uh, so the prevalence of MGRS is unknown, but many have speculated as that both MGUS and CKD are very common conditions and, and we seldomly do the, the kidney biopsies. Many have speculated that maybe MGRS is underdiagnosed in the general population. So we want to, to uh, compare the prevalence of CKD in individuals with and without MGUS in a large prospective screened population based cohort and try to assess the inc increased risk of uh, CKD if we would, uh, would find it and then to assess the possible maximal prevalence of MGRS in, in, in the general population. A total of 75,400 uh, participants uh, were screened in the ISWMM study and were screened for MGUS. Uh, and we defined CKD based on, on creatinine measurements and estimated glomerular filtration rate that was below 60. If, or if they had proteinuria or hematuria that was present for more than 90 days. We excluded all participants with lymphoproliferative disorders or without data on kidney function. A total of 69,000 participants were included, of whom 4,500 had MGUS, and uh, almost 10% of participants had CKT, defined as uh, and most of them uh, were had uh, CKT as a result of their low GFR. Uh, here we can see a multivariable uh, logistic regression model where we uh, compare uh, no MGUS to heavy chain MGUS uh, and uh, adjust for uh, non-linear age and sex. And as you can see, uh, those with heavy chain MGUS, they don't have a significantly increased risk of having CKT compared to, compared to those without MGUS. However, we we have, can use these uh, these uh, these numbers, the, the 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 odds ratios from the logistic regression, to try to extrapolate and estimate the prevalence rate or prevalence difference between those without MGUS and those with MGUS. And uh, when we do that, we 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 found that or estimate that the the prevalence rate of MGRS is 0.4% of those that have CKD. Uh, and a 99% confidence interval with a maximum rate of 1.4%. The prevalence difference was low in all subgroups of MGUS when we adjusted it for age and sex, as you can see in the, the table. Uh, we also want to, to estimate if, if there was any association between the presence or the concentration of M protein and EGFR. Here on the Y axis, you can see the EGFR and on the X axis, you see the M protein concentration. And as you can see, there is the, the line is almost flat. Uh, there is no significant uh, association between the, the M protein concentration and the, the EGFR. So uh, to conclude, in short, uh, this was a large population-based cohort where we found no association between MCUS and CKD. Based on the, the sample size and the, 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 the odds ratios, we calculated using multiple logistic, 
multivariable logistic regression model, we have estimated that the prevalence of NGRS is likely around 0.4% of CKD cases and a, an, an absolute maximum of 1.4%. These findings uh, reject the notion that MGRS is significantly underdiagnosed and suggest that the testing for MGRS in the general workup of CKD can be de emphasized. Uh, uh, I want to uh, thank all our collaborators and contributors, and uh, last but not least, all our participants for their, yeah, for, for participating in this study. Thank you.